After weeks of heated debate, contentious votes, and even some political maneuvering, collective bargaining rights for thousands of city workers are now on the verge of disappearing. Tonight, city council members voted down a motion to reconsider the bill that strips non-public safety workers of their collective bargaining rights. During the meeting, five council members voted to not reconsider the first vote that was held two weeks ago. Three voted to reconsider it, while one of the creators of the bill, Councilman John Crawford, was absent. Once again, the vote was down party lines. All three Democrats voted to have council reconsider the ordinance. The five Republicans in attendance all voted against reconsideration. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth joins us from Studio 15 tonight with more on reaction. Heather, both parties weren't really surprised by tonight's decision. It was Councilman John Schoff who asked for reconsideration two weeks ago. The Democrat made that move at an attempt to give council more time to look at the issue of collective bargaining. Democrats are disappointed no Republican changed his mind. Russ Yale, one of the authors of the ordinance, says council has been set on its decision for several weeks. So I'm very disappointed that no one would take us up on the offer to reconsider because all we're asking for is more time. And like you can see tonight, all issues that come up, when there's not clarity, they take more time. And this issue is much bigger than a sidewalk or a street or a sewer. It's people in their lives. And I think we should have taken more. Reconsideration was, uh, was, a, was a nice um, procedural stunt to delay further voting for two weeks. Uh, and so no one's mi everyone's minds are made up. Everybody knows where they stand on this issue. Issue. Most of us understood where we stood on the issue even before the discussions took place. Now, after tonight's decision, the public had a chance to comment on council's decision. Once again, several people spoke who were either city employees or a part of a union. They all asked council to reconsider its position. As a city employee, I'm very ashamed actually to be a citizen of this community at this time. We were taken away from our kids, time away from our kids. And, you know, we're definitely taking a step in the wrong direction with this and I hope you guys see that. Now the council has passed the ordinance. The bill is at the mayor's desk. In Studio 15, Randy Spieth, News Channel 15. And mayor Henry has already said he will veto that bill when it reaches his desk. We spoke to the mayor today about the issue and he was not shy about his intentions. If it passes council, then I have the opportunity to veto the legislation. I can either do it by signature or I can let it pass the nine or ten days that uh, it's allowed by state law uh, as far as me vetoing it. If not, then it's a pocket veto, which means it's vetoed without my signature. But I plan on vetoing it with signature probably within the next few days. I have said from the very beginning that the pieces of legislation that were introduced to council uh, to me took away the dignity and the voice of city employees. I could not support that. Uh, if, if for nothing else, uh, it, was, it was a slap in the face to our uh, staff members who worked so hard to make Fort Wayne the kind of city that it is that I would veto any legislation that took away that dignity. Once the mayor does veto the ordinance, it can still become law. City Council could override that veto with yet another vote on June 24th. And here's how that works. If two-thirds majority or six members of the council vote yes, the measure would automatically become law. And normally, this is a very rare occurrence. But remember, back to the first vote on May 27th, council voted 7-2 to two to approve the measure. So keep in mind, though, that Councilman John Schoff only voted yes in that case so he could use the procedural motion to reconsider the vote. That means even if he votes no this time, there could still be enough yes votes to override the mayor.